good news. My COVID test came back negative. And of course, obviously I'm feeling well, so yay. I'm still expected to quarantine or there is suggested that I quarantine for um, two weeks since my exposure. So we're one week into it. All right, let's talk some more YouTube. All right, another day of taking a look at my computer. We're going to look at YouTube creators I watch. And part of the thing that I use YouTube for is self-care. And I'm totally big into self-care. Part of it is, is because I really believe that I have something to offer the world. I, I want to make a difference. I want to make an impact. I want to make the world a better place. And if I'm not taking care of myself, I'm going to have less of ability to do that. And as, as I'm getting up in years, I'm realizing self-care is really important, you know? You're gonna miss those feet if they're gone. So taking care of myself, and one of the ways that I take care of myself is I try to go outside every day. But that's not always possible. So I exercise inside as well, and YouTube to the rescue. So let me get this recording here. So here we have one of my new loves on YouTube. That's EMK Fit. I was doing her workout uh, when I was showing those crazy dance moves to Footloose. She does dance workouts. They're really fun. Everything from, you know, as you can see, Latin, One Direction, Queen of Pop. I think she's got uh, old Broadway hits really fun selections. I'm not sure how she gets around the copyright, but she she obviously must do it because she's got 46,000 subscribers and she's fairly new at this. Um, not so new at this, but a wonderful workout coach is Sydney Cummings. And Sydney Cummings, um, she is super strong and a lot of her workouts require weights see a picture with one of the weights. Yes, she uses a lot of dumbbells. And so her workouts are very hard. I would not recommend doing a Sydney Cummings workout if you're new to exercising. I think it would be a little too vigorous for many people. Oops, I did MKP. Ah, one of the OGs of, oh, OG means original gangster. Yeah, of workout at home is Cassie Ho and she does blog a -lotties, and she is freakishly strong. Most of the time, all you need is a mat to do it. She's been doing this for over 10 years, and when you see something like this, she does lots of small movement repetitions that are just like, oh, you think you're gonna die, but it's something that you can do even if you pause, so that's a really good place to start. Now. In addition to exercise videos, one of the things that I really, oops, I've got one more exercise video, excuse me, yoga with Cassandra. How could I forget this? My husband starts his day with her. And just, you know, these 10 minute yoga sessions are really great. And, uh, you know, keeping yourself flexible, particularly as you get older, strong and flexible, both in body and mind. Make a difference in the world. So now on to skincare. I've been taking care of my skin since I was in my 30s and well, heck, even younger maybe. Anyway, hot and flashy as she does a lot of things with beauty, but her skincare videos are particularly good. Her dad was a chemist or is a chemist. He's still with us and he, she takes, took his love for chemistry and really looks at the ingredients behind skincare. And she does these really up close and detailed things. This one on the LED red light, does it work? You know, she really examines things very closely and tries to be as scientific as possible. So this is, uh, plus just, you know, how to look good on Zoom calls. And, and she is a couple years younger than I am. And so it's really good. She really caters to that older, uh, older crowd. Yeah. And, uh, but a young whippersnapper in the skincare realm is Hiram. He lives in Hawaii. He's got over 3 million subscribers. 
And part of it is, is he's sassy and he's good. And these, I, I don't care so much about these reaction videos, but when he talks about The Ordinary, which is the product that I use, use several of the ordinary things, he really ta digs in about the ingredients because he says the ingredients don't lie. And so he's fun to watch. I really enjoy what he has to say. He's super nerdy, super, um, and super good. Oh, speaking of super nerdy, Beauty Within is another nerdification kind of video. These gals know their stuff. They, um, the production maybe isn't as high as now that they're in lockdown, but, and I do believe they live in New York, not New York, it's California. Anyway, they, uh, they really talk about skincare, ingredients, different skin types. The two of them, um, one, Rowena has acne issues and oily skin and uh, Felicia, no, this is Felicia, this is Rowena. That she has um, dry skin with eczema. So that, and I, re I can relate to that. So I get patchy, dry splotches. And so they really talk about how ingredients work how to, you know, look, make your, your skin look better. And one of the things that I know is that if people look like they are youthful, even when they're not, you know, a lot of it's attitude, posture is another one. I don't have a posture channel that I follow, but, but trying to keep your skin looking good and nice. Yeah, I got my wrinkles and I kind of like them. Don't tell anybody. But, but keeping my skin healthy. Aging's gonna happen. There, you know, I hope it all happens to you, right? But keeping things healthy and having that kind of glow and vitality that tells the world, world, you know, I'm here, I'm still in it. So let's see, what did I, oh, Lab Muffin. This gal is really fun too. Uh, she is, she's got a, a PhD in chemistry. And so again, looking at that, that what are the ingredients in skincare, taking a look in detail at the science and the physics. She, um, she's in Australia, so SPF is really important. And so she does a lot on SPF. If I was going to tell you any advice about skincare, it would be protect your skin keep protect it from the sun and so um, using uh, sun protection factor and she talks about in fact one time she taped her entire face to find out the square the area of her face to find out how much sunscreen you really needed to apply it was that yeah, was clever and s s nerdy enough yeah you catching on to a theme here well not so nerdy, but super fun is Jessica Braun. She just lives up the road from here. She's in Indiana and she's more of like, you sit down and chat with her. She does do uh, reviews of makeup products and uh, favorite things, even like Amazon, what she's what she's eating, she eats pretty healthy, she exercises. I got uh, the EMK Fit idea from her, Jessica Braun. Um, she does a lot of stuff with drugstore, helping you save money, finding things in the drugstore that are really good quality instead of going to the department store or specialty stores. And her husband is also on YouTube and he does a, um, a vlog and so uh, she includes those as well. And she, you just sit down and have some coffee with her and. And she keeps you very entertained. No, come on, switch. Samantha March. Her work ethic is like incredible. She is posting on Instagram and she's got these detailed review blogs on, on uh, beauty products. She just last night hit 100,000 subscribers. Yay! Way to go, Samantha! And I just, um, she lives in Iowa, so they, they had just um, one of one of my patrons uh, lost his internet and couldn't do his uh, his monthly lesson, and and she's also in Iowa, and she was like, oh, thank goodness we're okay, and we didn't lose power or internet. 
but uh, I guess that storm there was brutal. But she had she. Um, one of the things that I like the most about her is she really supports other beauty channels and talks about them and 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 gives them praise and love and really kind of does brings the the whole YouTube beauty community together. And I am all about people who are thinking, you know, we're stronger together. We don't have to be in competition. So way to go, Samantha. Um, another one that's really fun is Jen Love Reviews. And she is, again, she's deep into the research. She goes, she gets, she does a lot of news on what's coming out in the beauty community. Um, Stop, spotlights black owned companies, uh, talks about other people that are in the mu the makeup industry and she's really good, entertaining and she puts out a lot of videos. Oops, is that what I wanted to do? Ah, I wanted to go to this guy first. Now, my husband is particularly interested in the nutrition side. I, I have a nutrition certificate, but he, he really is probably more engaged than I am in it. And we have been listening to Dr. Sten Ekberg. He's uh, an Olympic decathlete back when he was younger. He is a chiropractic doctor and deep into the science. And one of the things that I've re that has really resonated with me during this pandemic that he talks about is, why aren't we talking about building immunity? There are so many things that you can do to make sure that if you do get it, that you will be stronger in fighting it and lower your carbs and sugar. Insulin resistance is just a huge factor in your health. And that's something that my husband and I really take into heart. We, we eat a very low carb diet. I wouldn't say that we're ketogenic, but we're, we're very low carb, um, intermittent fasters. My husband frequently only eats one meal a day. He's really, he's he's really good about it. We use we use apple cider vinegar. We go through it like you know nobody's business, and so we found that his talks about building your immunity and making yourself stronger and the benefits that you have on overall health, not just weight loss, is is really inspiring. Now, I uh, is part of having a good practice foundation, I have found that there are YouTube videos that keep me engaged mentally, but I can sit back and relax and work out specific problems. Like on supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, there I have to go from an F to an F sharp diminished, and then a B flat to an F sharp diminished. And so those are some tricky chord changes. So I will sit and watch stuff like this. Two friends out in the jungle, low tech tools, and they wind up building these fabulous structures. Now, I'm sure that, you know, these swimming pools and stuff that they build are uh, not very functional, but it's still really fun to watch. And you just watch it and you're just, you know, something on the background because, you know, you can't just be paying attention to just a small thing on your ukulele. You have to have all sorts of things going on in your mind. So this is a way to train your mind to do that while working on a really specific problem in isolation. I hope that has helped you. I, let me know what what do you watch? Do you do exercise on YouTube? Uh, do you have particular health channels that you watch? Do you, do you watch skincare videos? Let me know what you're doing. Is there some is there something I should be watching? Let me know. Thank you so much and spread the ukulele love. <laughs>